What's up guys and welcome back to our Road to Nebula series here in Bio6 Zombies and today I'm going rogue and by that I mean that I'm picking the weapon that we're completing today and that weapon is the LR762 sniper and before you freak out I will still be doing the top comment from our previous video and whatever the top comment is on this video but I've just seen a lot of people asking on how to get the critical kills for this sniper since when it's pack-a-punched it shoots explosive bullets that makes it more difficult to get critical kills and that's just the thing we're not going to be pack-a-punching this but we're still going to make it work and to make it work there's a few attachments that I really think you should get on this weapon to make the grind a little bit easier. The first of which is the suppressor, which if you didn't know, it increases the drop rate of salvage, which will help you upgrade your weapon's rarity. And as for most of these other attachments, it's really just up to preference, but I do recommend having the largest mag that you can on here. And if you have the rapid fire attachment, go ahead and throw it on. But once you have your build set, I recommend coming on over to the weapon selection menu, going to your weapon, and then make sure you equip it as your zombies build. See, I just unequipped it there and then re-equipped it. This will allow you to grab your weapon as a wall buy or take it out of the box and have the same exact build. But if you just so happen to find this weapon in the map at a higher rarity than what your sniper is currently at, it helps out a lot with saving salvage. And of course, there is this gobble gum hidden power that will allow you to upgrade your weapon's rarity all the way to legendary, which obviously will give you that nice damage boost immediately. But we're going to go through this as if we don't have the gobble gum at all. But this is the gobble gum pack that I do recommend for this. Now that that's all out of the way, let's get into the strategy. Obviously, we're here on Liberty Falls. I think this is probably the best map for grinding out this specific camo in i guess i just think camos in general but at least for these first few rounds just want to come on over here to the vending machine do this nice little side easter egg and hit it and it'll give you a random item or it has the chance to it could just drop some like chips or whatever but we got a sentry gun right there not really the most useful but it does have a chance to give you some scrap but obviously while you're on a low round really just go for all the headshots while your sniper is still doing enough damage it can still do a lot of damage on later rounds the snipers are some of the highest damaging weapons in this game but really just make sure you're taking your time and you're hitting every single zombie in the head because 2000 headshots takes a while Oh, and there we go. We got some nice salvage right out of the vending machine. That's what we like to see. And I'm already seeing a decent bit of salvage drop on the ground from that little suppressor boost. But like I mentioned before, when this weapon is pack-a-punched, it does get that explosive bullet ability, which is really nice if you're just trying to have a really strong weapon. I think this can be, or maybe is, one of the strongest weapons in the game. But that pack-a-punch ability really hurts trying to get camos. But just because you pack-a-punch it doesn't mean you can't get critical kills at all. You still can, but it just makes it more difficult because the initial shot will get a critical kill, but every shot after it will just be killing zombies with that explosive damage. But pre-pack-a-punch, you can collect as many zombies as you want, as long as you can hit the shot, which apparently I can't. Hold on get a nice lineup there we go that was a nice four banger and one bullet and i know it doesn't really seem like much but getting multiple crits in one shot really adds up and can speed up the grind by a lot and also don't forget our little buddies on the ground here they're just free crits but at least to start out here i usually stay in this first room until like about round eight is a good spot to leave you can leave a little earlier than that a little bit later it does not matter but just take your time get your money up and make sure you're collecting all the salvage that these zombies drop and the best thing about not getting this pack a punch for a while is that ammo is always going to be really cheap it's going to be a nice little 250 points which is nothing and you know what it's a bug round we can go ahead and get out of here just one more hit on the vending machine okay i'll take some extra points I'll also take the points from this loose change and from the billiards table give me that and don't forget that you can still crit these vermin these little bugs these little spermies with arachnophobia mode on every enemy in this game is critable so make sure you take that extra second to get them and even though we aren't getting pack a punch i still think it is important to open up the church here and go into the dark aether because not only can you come in here and you know break these little aether crystals and get some extra salvage and nades but once it is opened up the sam trial machine will start spawning and that's where the real money is that can give you a lot of salvage from completing trials or it can just straight up give you an aether tool and it's got a lot of salvage in here we we're just racking them up but once you're over here by the church you can head on over to the arsenal and i really only recommend getting your weapon for now up to uncommon like we could have gotten our weapon up to rare rarity but we don't really need it at the moment and i'll show you guys in a second for now you can just train around take out the zombies this is really going to be the theme for today there's going to be a lot of training and a lot of shooting some domes it's actually just so optimal to train and get them in a nice single file line so you can hit some collats 
But once the round's getting low, it doesn't really matter what round you do it on. An earlier round's probably easier in case you uh, mess it up. But you can go ahead and bring a zombie on over here. Take him out whenever you're ready. I'll just do it now. And then you can head on over here and do the free dead shot side Easter egg. So you just got to take out all these cans over here on the fence. And don't worry if you mess it up, you miss a shot or whatever, they go away. They will respawn the next round. But if you get them all in one try, you get a free dead shot, which obviously is going to help out a lot with critical kills, especially if you're playing on controller. And if you have the augment for it, it does boost armor damage, which is insane for this game. And especially the strat that we're trying to do here. And we did just get a Sam trial to spawn in. So let's make our way over there and see what the challenge is. What do you got for us? Bowling lane Sam trial. Stay in this area. Is that it? Oh, kill zombies. All right, cool. It's going to spawn in some extra zombies for us. So if we were to sit here and only focus on the purple-eyed zombies, we can still save some zombies for a round, or we can just get kills from outside of this area. Like, let's just go ahead and get this close, as close to 30 as we can, and then we'll get a bunch of kills outside of the zone, and then before time expires, we'll just get that last kill. That way we optimize the amount of crits that we're getting. Oh, wait, there actually is not that much time. Hold on, only 17 seconds. I'll clean this real quick. Sit them all down. Come on. Oh, no. Don't fumble. I'm fumbling. I'm panicking. Come on. Oh, we had to reload. Okay, whatever. Doesn't matter. We didn't get legendary first try. A little disappointing, but we should still get a good amount of salvage from that. Eh, 250, not bad. And cryo freeze. Beautiful. That's what we're looking for. Because if you don't know, cryo freeze, it's a pretty decent ammo mod. Not only will it slow zombies down, but there is augments for it where you do extra damage to zombies that are partially frozen or that are already affected by cryo freeze. And on top of that, it doesn't normally kill zombies just from an activating. It only just benefits you by slowing them down. So it's like my go-to ammo mod for grinding out camos. But the reason why I had you guys wait off on getting your weapon up to rare rarity is because we're about to get it for free. You guys have probably seen the falling zombie Easter egg over here or where all you need is a nade to throw up at this floating head on top of the church. Blow that up and zombies will start falling from the sky. And if you do this really early into the game, it's just going to give you an uncommon aether tool. But I went through and I tested it a bit. Some people think that you can get a rare aether tool if your weapon's already at uncommon. I've tried it a little bit and I was still getting uncommon aether tools when my weapon was at uncommon. But I think that once this gets up to round 10 is when the rare rarity Aether tool will drop. It's time for you to make me look like a fool game. Oh no, it didn't. There we go. Nice little rare Aether tool. And a bunch of salvage and essence on the ground. And now with all that salvage we saved, we should be able to get this up to epic. We honestly probably could have rolled the dice a little bit and done another trial to see if we could get an epic aether tool from it. But I just want to go ahead and get it and get it out of the way. Now let's make our way down here. And the reason that I had you guys go ahead and make that zombies build because we got a weapon right here. So if you didn't have any salvage, you want to save it, you can go up here and buy your LR762 at a higher rarity if it's higher than what you already got. Just an option out there. But let's knock this trial out here and I bet it's going to give me an epic aether tool now that I, I talked about it. I, I summoned it. I spoke it into existence. It's going to make me look like a fool. Ooh, an insta kill. This is perfect for getting clats. Let's see how many we can get in this shot right here. Oh, literally just one. Okay. Let's go for those clats again. Ah. Uh. Only three? No way. I'm getting scammed. Let's go ahead and use our frenzy guard. Try to help them line up a little bit more and go for it. That's a nice four crit shot. Let's keep it going. Ah. Uh, nice 16 crit with no threat of going down. At least not when that was active. And we finished it up. What do you got for us? Oh, jug. I'll take that. Now that we've saved all this cash, we can pick up a few perks. Let's go right over here. Grab us some speed cola. And let's also work on getting the vault open because we can also get some pretty good stuff from that. So our first number is 39. Next number is 42. And our last number is 6. 39, 42, 6. Let's toss it in. There we go. Now, I only have an uncommon key, but we can still get some nice from this, right? Oh, a little bit of salvage. Could be better, but could also be worse. We'll do a little bit of a more fun side Easter egg. We just got to shoot all these shoes going around the map. So there's the first pair inside of the gas station on the counter. Next pair is over here at the hardware store and on the shelf. Then we got one right here at this white house by the church. It's going to be underneath the chairs. 
We got another one behind the church over here, hanging from a tree. And last one is over here in the funeral home on top of the casket. And that should do it. Right? Did I miss one? Okay. There we go. We had to finish the round to get teleported. Okay. Never seen that happen before. But now we just got to do a little bit of bowling. And if you've never done this side Easter egg before, it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, just go ahead and grab your bowling ball. And you're going to go ahead and charge it up with whatever your shoot button is. Wait till it's at three arrows. And then you toss it and just try to take out as many zombies as you can. Uh, you know, contrary to popular belief, or at least what I thought when I first did the side Easter egg, is that you don't want to actually go for the pins. I'm uh, crazy, I know. But going for the pins, not really what you want. You want to try to get as many zombie kills with this bowling ball as you can, because you want as high a score as you can. Because with that score, we're going to get a nice reward if we can uh, pull it off. Okay, cool. We hit a nice 230. That's not terrible. 300 is really what you, you want to aim for. But we should still get something decent from this, right, Mr. Peaks? You're going to give me something good? What we got? Oh, 200 salvage? Okay. Uh, maybe you guys could do a little bit better than I did. But from what I was testing earlier with this build and getting it up to legendary, you should be good up until round 25. And even on round 25, you can still make it happen. You can still work. It, the round just might take a little bit to complete because you're going to get a few elites. But hopefully by then, you'll be close to about a thousand crits if you've been trying to get every single kill as a crit. Right now, I'm at... 283 eliminations with 253 of those being crits. So as long as you try to stay on target as possible, you're going to have a decent amount before you hit round 25. And even by then, if you still aren't really getting that many crits, it's not bad to go ahead and pack a punch. Because if you don't have your weapon fully leveled up, you can kind of just sit there and use the pack a punch version of this weapon and absolutely fly through rounds. And then that'll give you a nice few levels for it as well. And now we're all about that head. Gimme. Uh-oh. Now we got an abomination. Let's uh not do that abomination. Immediately took his face out. That's what I'm telling you. This sniper is strong. Even without pack a punch. You can still make it through. And this should be it for him. Right here. Right now. Come on. Why don't you just go ahead and die already? Do me a favor. Do me a solid. Uh-oh. And if uh, things are getting a little too hectic, uh, we can just do one of these. Do our nice little uh, dancing zombie Easter egg. Just go over to the binoculars, look up and to the right until you see this a little cheerleader on top of the hill. And you got to look at her with both binoculars. So do it on that one till it closes. Go to this one. Find them again. And just wait. Come on. Show us those beacons of light. There we go. Now all the zombies should just leave us alone and go dance on the, the bus. I think there are a few zombies that uh, do not abide by the rules here. Like this abomination. Sometimes manglers will shoot at you. And I think vermin don't really care too much to dance. But once they start dancing, they shouldn't start chasing you until the music stops. So you can kind of just stand up here and go for all the crits you want. Just a nice way to get some easy ones. And look at this. Ammo, still only 250 bucks. All the way on round 17, and we're still one-shotting zombies. But uh, we're sitting on a good amount of cash and enough salvage to get this to legendary. So let's go get this up to legendary and get to our max damage without having to pack a punch. And let's also go ahead and grab our tier 3 armor. Oh, and there's our 1,500 crits. Just 500 more to go. This gun's actually pretty satisfying to use. So nasty. It's not even at its full potential. And now we just do a, a light little train over here on top of the roof. Now, I know some people don't like training on this roof. I personally think it's uh, pretty fast for spawns. And for the most part, safe. As long as I'm not being dumb. Let's get a nice train going. You can really line up a good amount of crits. And there's ammo. Right, check this out. Look how many crits we're about to get right here. One. And then right there. Two. Every time I... I am like priming you guys to see how many crits we're gonna get in one shot we end up getting basically none this game is trying to make me look like a fool Jeez, we're at 710 crits this might be like my best like crit to kill ratio game so far here in bo6 this is our most efficient weapon but now we're on round 25 the like pseudo health cap not necessarily health cap but like difficulty cap this is uh where boys become men where babies become toddlers where crits are still possible. Wait a second. What? I must have hit armor. What about now? Ooh. Okay, maybe they are a little bit more difficult. But still doable. Right? On game. There we go. Now we're getting some. Just 
said to loosen them up a little bit. But how many crits are we at now that we're kind of reaching a wall? 734? That's not bad at all. Let's see if I can get through this round without Pack-a-Punch still. Because we're definitely doing like all right damage for no Pack-a-Punch. But it is going to take a minute. So you're going to need a little bit of patience if you want to keep going at this round. Unless we can get an insta-kill. What is that, a nuke? Not what I'm looking for. Insta-kill, please. We do have our frenzied, though. You know, let's just use it. These zombies ain't getting to me. Just keep spamming our shots right here. I'm not even going to unscope. Don't need to. Just keeping it headshot level. These guys will die eventually. Maybe. I will die eventually, actually, if I don't get out of here. There's a decoy. Oh, wait. Sniper mastery? Sick. We're moving up in the world. Let's keep plating our armor and make it through. I have no idea how we even survived that. That jug augment upgrade is insane. Because if as one zombie just drops a little bit of armor while you're in that situation, you just put it back on, it breaks, and it's a free stun on them. Let's you think for a little bit longer. I think we're actually going to clear this around. These might be the last zombies. Ooh, Mangler's finally down. I can take out the rest of you. No issues. Besides me not being able to hit a shot. There we go. That's round 25 in the books. But that's probably about the limit of what you can get without pack-a-punching. We're at 69,000 points. Shout out sex. So I'm going to bite the bullet. And I'm going to go ahead and pack-a-punch this. There we go. Let's just get it all the way up to three. Why don't we? Actually... Probably could have kept it at one, but it's whatever. We can still get crits as long as the zombies don't got armor, right? No? Where are my crits at? Where my hug at? There we go. We can kind of just spam shots with this now. And some of them are going to end up being crits, but not going to get the collats like we used to. It's just going to be a lot of splash damage kills. But we could probably still get crits on these elites, right? Yeah. Not a crit, though. Oh, we fucked them up pretty good. But the best part about getting this pack a punch is you can come down here on this spot right off of the bank rooftop and basically just sit here for the entire game. Well, until you, you start hitting another wall. But you can really just sit here and hip fire. Try to keep it head level. Sometimes you'll be getting some crits. Other, other times, you know, it's just gonna blow everything up. But either way, you'll be raining through kills. This is actually so effortless sitting here. Everything is just dying. This gun is way too strong, dude. You're messing them up. Sit down. You can take me. You can't. I hate to break it to you. And you know what? These vermin rounds are kind of good for this sniper. Because they're a little bit more spread out. At least if you're taking them out as they spawn. You can get a few extra crits. Without really risking taking them all out. As long as they're not in a group. You know what? I'm starting to feel cocky. I'm going to go turn on the Rampage Inducer and we're going to fly through this. We're at 815 crits. We got to be getting close to getting that done. And then after that, we can work on our special camos. Oh, Abomination. You really don't want the smoke now. If I was taking you out with no Pack-a-Punch, come on. What do you think you're going to do against this? I already two faces gone. You want to make it three? Huh, tough guy? Okay, there you go. Yell. And good night. Right about here. There you go. This gun is just so nasty. Might actually be the best, like, non-wonder weapon in the game. I think this is probably, like, a really good way to get augment research done, too. Because we can just sit here and farm XP. Where does the spot reach its limit? Because we are just still breezing through this. Oh, no way you're trying to shoot me from up there. Come on. You can't out-cheese the cheese spot. That's not fair. Oh, shit. Maybe they can. I should have been paying attention to my armor. But convenient nuke. And there was a self-revive down right here. But now it's gone. Come on. They're going to take away when I need it. Not cool game. Not cool. And also, I don't even think you need PhD for this. Oh, wait. Maybe you do. Yeah, you do. I did not think I was doing self-explosive damage there. What's our reward over there? We haven't done a trial in like a long time. Why do we still have a reward over there? Let's go see what it is. Oh, we got brain rot in here. I think we actually might need that for a special cam. I'm going to pick that up now. Cryo is uh, very good, but we are extremely close to getting our crits done. And we're going to need like 300 crits with brain rot or just 300 kills with brain rot. And then we also need to kill like some like 15 manglers. And we are getting to the perfect round to be able to do that. Come on, show me my crit camo. Please and thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, and an insta kill. Nothing surviving. Absolutely nothing. Everything's toast. Bring in all the manglers you want. They're all dead. 
I do not like that they are learning. Stop trying to shoot me from the roof. Knock that off. Let's throw a monkey bomb because our frenzy's about to run out. Take out these manglers. Do one of these. I love that manglers actually get distracted by monkey bombs now. So sick. They've learned to be manipulated. Uh-oh. We're still fighting our way through. No, we're not. Okay. Maybe during those situations, I should use my uh, uh, mangler kill streak. That'd be nice if I uh, had thoughts. Now, obviously, you can uh, go ahead and leave the game. You know, start up a new one and get right back to doing the same method we were doing before to get your crits a little bit faster. But... If you think you're close to getting your crits done, it's probably more optimal to stay in the game and use all that money you built up to get your pack a punch, and then you'll make it a lot easier to get your mangler kills. And how are we actually completing these trials? I'm not starting trials. We're just getting the rewards from them. Do you think there's a way, like, if you guess what the trial is and get it done, that you can still get the reward for it? Because I have no idea how I'm getting these. It's just giving them to me. It was actually, like, the best glitch ever, what we got from that. Oh, some decoys. How nice. Or maybe that's the way of trying to lure me out of my spot. They're trying to bribe me. But I cannot be bought. Oh, okay. These zombies are way more aggressive now. Holy shit. They're messing me up. Oh, yeah. Crits are almost non-existent now. Come on. We cannot be that far off. How many crits are we at? 890? How many more we need? They're gonna have to pry this game out of my cold, dead hands if they want me to leave before I get my camo. They gotta force me out. Okay. All right. All right. They, they heard the message loud and clear. Holy shit. Okay, we are playing a very risky game right now. I do not have PhD and we do not have a self revive. Let's change that. PhD now. Give me. Give me everything else. Damn, we're dead. Holy shit. I shouldn't have not have said anything about my cold dead hands. Because they took that very seriously. Mangler. I'm sorry for what I did. Watch us be like 10 crits short. Because we have 918 crits that game. Once we pack a punch it though, our, our ratio got way off. But that gun's nice. It's a lot of fun to use. What did we get to? No way. 1971 out of 2000. Okay, well, at least we'll be able to pack a punch early in our next game. And then fly through these camos. All right, let's speed run these last crits. Oh, and there it is. Our nice purple tiger camo. So now we need to go get brain rot as soon as possible and try to get to as a high around as we can as soon as possible. That way we can get all of our mangler kills. I wonder if there's another way we can spawn them in faster. Do the Easter egg steps spawn them in? I mean, I know the HVT ones. I don't think they really actually start spawning till like round 11, maybe. And since we're already done with our crits, let's just throw brain rot on here as soon as possible. Oh, mangler, just the guy I'm looking for. Oh, we brain rotted him. Well, two for one. Let him get a few kills. And then is he going to unbrain rot? I want to see if I was just freaking out earlier, if I was going insane. I think he snaps out of it. Yeah, wait, look at this. Now he's back to being an op. A dead one, though. Oh, there we go. 300 eliminations with brain rot. That's actually a really nice camo for that. Maybe one of the better looking special camos in this game. Now we just need to find some more manglers than this. There's another one. I do not remember how many we need. I'm pretty sure it's like 15, but it could also be 50. And I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think they do 50 though for just a special challenge. But this gun is kind of nasty and it can handle 50 manglers. I want to try something out. If we take this valve and bring it to the bowling alley, and then we just never go through and finish Bringing up the water pressure. Can we get more mangler spawns? Do manglers even spawn from that? I guess we can find out. Pop that bad boy open and start cranking. Come on, manglers. Start showing up. Oh, I hear one. What's up, buddy? Perfect. Now, keep it coming, though. We gotta get more than one of those guys. What happens if I leave here and come back? The spawns still look like they're going, and another mangler did spawn. I hear them in there. This might be the way. Is this how we get specials and elites fast? Now we got pack three and nothing stopping us. Is this gonna be our last mangler? I feel like we're close to 15. Oh, and it was, let's go. Perfect. Now we just need our kills rapidly, which should be a breeze with this gun. And then we're all done for now. 
And that'll be two snipers done. We just need one more. And then get our first uh, opal camo. Kills rapidly is actually a joke with this gun. Just shoot at the ground. That's it. All you gotta do. Bam. 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 I actually really like using this valve here. If you got a busted gun, you can get so many zombie spawns so fast. Oh, and there it is. Mystic gold immediately. I guess we'll just do this till the next X fill. Might as well. Oh, we got a nice little X fill. Let's take it and get the hell out of here. All right, zombies. It's been fun. But now I got to slaughter you all and leave. We just finished the, one of the most difficult weapons in the game. That also just so happens to be one of the best weapons in the game. And last zombie. Bye bye. End it with a crit. Beautiful. And we're out of here. Give me a nice whimsical gobble gum for that. Please be indigestion. I need to stack up on those. I need nothing but fart gobble gums. All right, this is what our LR762 looks like with mystic gold on it. And it is beautiful. It's actually such a fun weapon to use. And I still think it might be one of the best in this game that is not a wonder weapon. I can't think of anything else that might be stronger than this besides maybe the Mustang and Sally's, but I feel like the base damage on the sniper is way higher than those pistols. And this is the overcast camo I was talking about a bit earlier. This is one of the special camos you get for it, and it looks pretty decent. Some nice colors on it, but it is a little scratched up. I don't like how they make uh, some of these nicer looking camos all scratched, but it's not too bad of a uh, scratches on it but there you have it we got mystic gold on one of the most difficult weapons to get it on in the game and honestly it wasn't too bad just took a little bit of patience but i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate all your love and support and i will see you in the next one later